What's going on everyone? Today we're going to be watching and reacting to The Last Samurai from 2003. This is a Patreon request from Scott. So thank you very much for this request. I don't know anything about this movie other than that Tom Cruise is in it. And that's all I know. So let's just jump right into it. If you want to see the full uncut reaction, that'll be my Patreon. Links that will be in the description down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Let's watch. Before we get into the rest of the video, here is a word from today's sponsor. In today's incredibly fast-paced digital world, online privacy and security is more important than it's ever been. And that's where the Private Internet Access VPN comes in. A VPN, also known as a virtual private network, hides your IP address and safeguards your internet connection through an encrypted tunnel, which in short means it's just keeping your personal information safe. The Private Internet Access VPN will protect you from hackers on an unlimited amount of devices. That's right, an unlimited amount of devices at the same time. This is also available on all platforms that includes Windows, iOS, Android, and many, many more. And that's not all the Private Internet Access VPN will do for you. It will also give you access to region-restricted content on all of your favorite streaming platforms such as Netflix, Hulu, Prime Video, and much, much more. Not a lot of people know this, but the catalogs on different streaming sites drastically changes when you change your region, which means being restricted to just your own region is limiting the amount of content you're able to consume on that streaming platform. All you have to do is use the VPN interface itself and just change your region. And then you will simply have access to a bunch of different movies and shows that were not previously there. And with how expensive a lot of those streaming sites are nowadays, it is definitely worth it to have a VPN in order to experience way more of the content it has to offer. It would be like paying for a buffet, but only being allowed to eat a certain section of the food. But what if you want all of the food? What if you want everything available to you? That is what private internet access VPN will give you. A link is in the description and pinned in the comments where you can get 83% off on private internet access. That is correct, 83%, which means it'll only be $2.03 per month. And on top of that, you will get an extra four months for free, only from my link, which is in the description. Thank you so much to Private Internet Access for sponsoring this video. Let's get back into the main video. Oh, so the same director of Blood Diamond directed this, Edward Zwick. Okay. America's leader in all forms of armament used by the United States Army. So when does this take place? Captain Nate Aldrin. Is Tom Cruise Nathan? He ain't coming out. <laughs> I mean, they just got done with the Civil War, so is, was he did he fighting the Civil War? Maybe I don't know. This is your last performance. You're fired. Now get out there. Oh, it's a performance. Wait, is he actually a captain or like, I don't know. This, ladies and gents, is the gun that's winning the West. By many's a time, I found myself. Uh, he's writing off a script. Seven shot capacity, accurate. Four hundred yards, one round per second. Uh, son, have you ever seen what this could do to a man? <laughs> well, you could kill yourself five, six, seven braves. Note the patented loading port and the smooth cocking action. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> you can't aim it at someone, bro. What are you doing? You do that today, you'll be getting shot. <laughs> right, you'll be getting shot for doing that. Japan's got it in mind to become a, a civilized country. And Mr. Amura here is... Willing to spend what it takes to hire white experts to train their army. And if we play our cards right, the Emperor grants the U.S. exclusive rights to supply arms. Interesting. Your performances for the Winchester Company bring you $25 a week. We will pay you $400 a month. Definitely really good back in the 1800s. Five. For each. And another 500 when we get the job done. Captain Algren's study of the tribes was a crucial factor in our defeat of the Cheyenne. <laughs> Jeez. This Nathan dude's kind of funny already. I don't know why he's just... <laughs> what is funny? The core... Back together again. It's just so... It's <laughs> funny. <laughs> we contacted you because you are Captain Algren's superior officer. And you assured us of his participation. He'll do it. I just need a minute. I did what I was ordered to do out there, and I have no remorse. So what do you say we put the past behind us? Do you want me to kill Japos? I'll kill Japos. I'm not asking you to kill anybody. You want me to kill the enemies of Japos? I'll kill the enemies of Japos. For 500 bucks a month, I'll kill whoever you want. <laughs> I keep one thing in mind. I'd happily kill you for free. Damn. <laughs> 
The Divine Emperor Meiji bids you welcome. He is grateful for the assistance your country offers. America にはもともとそこで暮らしていた民がいるというが。Is that a kid? Oh, he's not that young, is he? I don't know, he sounded younger and also the shadow made him look. I guess he's on the younger side. I don't know how young that is, but looks like the younger side. Thank you. Oh, yeah, he's young. Katsumoto no longer dishonors himself by using firearms. He uses no firearms. You see, to those who honor the old ways, Katsumoto is a hero. So, swords? Well, the general and Katsumoto fought together for the emperor. He fought with the samurai. He is samurai. Captain will be speaking the lingo in no time. You should hear him blathering on in Blackfoot. A fellow linguist? Oh, capital. <laughs> It's about bedtime, isn't it? I've always had a dread fascination with scalping. I never quite understood its technique. What? <laughs> Imagine <laughs> someone who hates you with the utmost intensity, grabbing a handful of your hair while you're lying prostrate and helpless. So he's explaining scalping now? <laughs> we, we know what that is. Then scraping a dull blade of a rusty knife around your scalp with a saw like motion. And let your imagination grasp, if you can, Mr. Graham, the effect of a strong, quick jerk、oh. on the turf of your hair. Jesus! Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, jump scares in non horror movies are always like the scariest things ever because you're not expecting them. It's different when you're expecting it, but sometimes it just pops at you like, ah, Jesus Christ. Did they kill an innocent community of. Oh shit, Native Americans. Damn. That's fucked up. No wonder he seems all fucked up. Like, yeah, there hasn't been a single moment on screen where he doesn't look like he's he's done some shit. So, I'm not I'm not even surprised that that happened. Because, yeah, you could see on his face this whole movie so far. Tom Cruise is a really underrated actor. I don't think people give him enough credit.、Uh, I know he's, you know, usually doing these big action movies and stuff, but, like, he's, fu he's fucking good, you know? Katsumoto has attacked the railroad at the border of his province. We cannot govern a country in which we cannot travel freely. He must be stopped now. They're not ready. The rebels don't have a single rifle. They're savages with bows and arrows. That doesn't mean it'll be easy. Mr. Graham, tell this man to fire at me. I beg、What? your pardon? If he does not shoot me, I will kill him. Holy shit. <laughs> Is he trying to make a point? He's, he's expecting him to miss. Oh, oh holy shit. <laughs> well, he missed. Is that what he's expecting? I think that's what he was expecting, which proves to them that they're not ready. They're not ready. Yeah, that's what he was doing. <laughs> Dude, he had that much faith in it. He had that much faith in it. Well, I don't even know. Is, is it just about him shooting him in terms of like missing? Or is it also in terms of does he have the guts to shoot me right now? You know, I guess it could be a little bit of both. Oh boy. They just have swords, right? Isn't that what they said? I mean, it's, it still could be difficult though.、It's, that doesn't mean it's going to be a walk in the park necessarily. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, they look awesome. <laughs> He didn't say shit. God damn. Now they're uncoordinated. Which is.、Uh, that means it's gonna go to shit. Damn. <laughs> Oh, the music's really good. I'm gonna, to, I'm gonna have to look up the composer. I'm gonna have to. If I hear good music, I need to know. Damn, he's going off. Holy shit. No. Ooh. Come on, Nathan. Come on. Oh, shit. Might have b r o k e his leg.、Uh, I mean, could have broken his leg. Nice. Oh. 
Is he gonna get captured? I mean, he's completely surrounded. Holy shit. I think I know this actor. What's gonna save him? Oh. Damn. <laughs> nice. Does this guy notice how badass he is? And so he's like, eh, can't kill him. Too badass to kill him. Yeah, I definitely know this actor. What was he in? I know the other actor too. I know both those guys. I, I could look it up after the movie, probably. Oh, what is this called? I know I know what that there's a word for it. Like when they kill, they they stab themselves first and then their heads are sliced off. Yeah. There's, there's a word for it. It's something about honor. Like that that's I guess an honorable way to kill someone. Oh, this is Hans Zimmer. I I had to look it up because I was like, this music's too fucking good. <laughs> And I, it was Hans Zimmer, my favorite composer of all time. Not even surprised. Whoa! Oh shit! Does it? Jolly good. Jolly good. <laughs> At least they're giving him medical attention. <laughs> Makes sense. Learn your enemy. Isn't that what he said, Nathan? He was saying something about learning his enemy before. I guess that's what they're doing here. Holy shit. This girl has a lot of compassion for him, though. You can see it in her face. Interesting they don't have him in, like, a cell or something. They just have him walking around. They're very trusting, then. Very trusting people. <laughs> Interesting. I like this contrast. Them using the swords versus uh, him training the others to use guns. I guess they got bow and arrows too. Is it because they prefer these weapons or they just don't have the guns? So they would. Just, I mean, I feel like guns back then, they weren't obviously as useful as guns today. So swords in some bows and arrows could definitely put up a good fight against like muskets and such. Because I mean, those, those guns, the muskets, they had to like reload them after every single shot. You know, they got to put the stuff back in. They got to, you know. I don't know exactly how those ones work. I'm not a, the biggest gun buff in the world, but <laughs> I'm assuming they're not, you know, compared to what other weapons you could be using here. I mean, I'm, you know. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> She's off in the house, man. What's your name? You got a name, don't you? Not me. I don't think he speaks. I think he just follows you around. That's his job. You're angry. You're angry because they make you wear a dress. <laughs> I will practice my English with you, if you would honor me. You kept me alive just to speak English? <laughs> then what do you want? To know my enemy. He keeps saying that. The warriors in your country do not kill? They don't cut the heads off defeated kneeling men. Mm. I mean, we literally saw a flashback of them shooting innocent people, so I don't... Samurai cannot stand the shame of defeat. Oh, wow. I was honored to cut off his head. <laughs> yeah, but what I was saying, like, they were literally just shooting innocent soldiers, so... Or not innocent soldiers, innocent people. We saw that in the fucking clip. Who's a warrior in the red armor? My brother-in-law, Hirotaro. And the woman who cares for me? My sister, Hirotaro's wife. Her name is Taka. Taka? I killed her husband? It was a good death. And she... she very forgiving people, will you? <laughs> I don't know about forgiving, but at least they're not like, you know, you'd think he would be sh don't get killed by now. <laughs> God damn. You trying to fight? <laughs> I guess it would just be a stick fight. It's not really a sword. Oh. Damn. That was quick. He's good with the gun, we know that, but is he good with the sword? Nah. Which I guess that'd be really cool to see him get better with a sword over the course of this movie. I don't know. Oh yeah, this is definitely Hans Zimmer music right here. <laughs> is he never gonna stay down? <laughs> Ow. I mean, that was impressive, you know? He got up quite a bit, you know? 
I've yet to thank you for looking out for me yesterday. That is your job, correct? Protecting me. I mean, he is following him around. I don't know if it's about protecting him, maybe protecting other people from him. You fought against your Red Indians? Yes. Tell me of your part in this war. Why? I wish to learn. Read a book. <laughs> we are both students of war. He really wants to, he, he's really a, a learner, you know what I mean? As a captain. What are you doing? Why are we having these conversations? What the hell am I doing here? In spring, the snows will melt and the pastures will open. Until that time, you are here. Oh. Is he wearing the skirts now that he was making fun of before? I think he is. <laughs> <laughs> Looking around, make sure no one sees him doing this. Oh, well, kid came across you. <laughs> Too many mind. Mind the sword. Mind the people, what? Mind the enemy. Too many mind. Too many things going on in his mind. No mind. Can't think? Yeah. Makes sense. Clear mind. <laughs> oh, damn. Permission to end her life? <laughs> Jeez. I mean, yeah, to, what happened to her husband, though, that makes sense, right? <laughs> What does it mean to be samurai? To devote yourself utterly to a set of moral principles. To seek a stillness of your mind. And to master the way of the sword. <laughs> Tom Cruise is not ugly. I knew it. I knew he was going to say that. She probably need to hear that. And that's not going to make her for, you know, forgive him to forget about it, but you know, at least it helps. Yeah, I mean, they were at war. It's not like he murdered him in cold blood, you know? War, you know, they were in a battle, I guess. There you go. You can't really put a blame on him for too long, you know? Damn. Something's on your mind, clearly. Got to get rid of it. Oh, oh, I thought he was going to make it. I like the slow-mo. Guess that would be a draw. If they were actually using real swords, they probably would have chopped off each other's heads in one sword. <laughs> Imagine that, chopping both uh, like each other's heads off at the same time. I feel like they're gonna get attacked in the middle of the night or something. Yeah, oh shit! Oh shit. Oh, they're going for him, yep. Ooh, well they missed. Damn. They're jumping in front of the arrows for him. Oh, holy shit. That guy's got like claws. Holy shit. Oh. Nice. I love sword fighting, dude. It looks so cool. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Damn, it's just a kid! Oh. Save him! There you go. Nice. I feel like Katsumoto's gonna die. I mean, that's what their whole goal was. They were trying to go from first. Oh. There you go. 
Holy shit! Let's just not stop. Dude, these these dudes stood no chance. Like, holy shit, these are some well-trained uh I guess samurai, right? Love those cherry blossom trees. The Emperor has granted a safe passage to Tokyo. Oh. Believe tomorrow. <laughs> He's gonna be like, what the fuck? <laughs> He's like, what are you doing, Nathan? I'm sure he's just glad to see him alive. あの者たちの望むことを知っている限り、神は神であるかもしれんな。恐れながら何という情けなき言葉、陛下は民の思いを忘れか。どうすればよい。Wow. The emperor surprised me. I was expecting the emperor to be some like much older dude, you know, probably like I was not expecting this. He, he looks like he's maybe 20. <laughs> well, it probably works the same as like King's work, right? Like when father passes away, then the kid, oldest kid gets it. I'm assuming it's something similar to that, right? Or maybe the father just passed away kind of young. He spent the entire winter at his encampment as his prisoner. Well, as he fortified his position, as he acquired firearms. Come, man, tell us what you saw. As you said, Colonel, they're savages with bows and arrows. Perhaps there's someone else we should be speaking to. Wait a minute! That's fucking Scott Wilson! Herschel from The Walking Dead! Oh, it's so nice to see you. Well, we should be looking forward to hearing from you. I love him, man. He's a great actor. He passed away, like, four years ago now? You are right, Captain Oglin. Last year, we are not prepared to go to battle. But now they are. But now we are ready. If Katsumoto is allowed to attract other samurai to his cause, we will have ten years of rebellion. This is something I will not allow. Either I will stop him at the council today, or you will lead my army against him. And with these new weapons, you will crush him. Oh shit, that puts him in a predicament. Oh shit. <laughs> oh no, he knows. He knows. A haircut? Oh god. Captain Ogden, Oh, come on. Are they still going to do it? God damn. Jolly good. <laughs> Jolly good. Katsumoto Sangi. <laughs> oh shit. He didn't say anything, technically. I'm I guess maybe. What? What?ケゴの者に送らせます。this guy does not respect the Emperor like Kasumoto uh, does. The Emperor is just getting all walked over right now. <laughs> what is it about your own people that you hate so much? It's nothing to do with hating his people. That has nothing to do with that. It's just respecting other people. I guess it's as simple as that. Oh, shit. Is he going to use that knife to try to fight back? Yo, imagine? <laughs> I believe he could do it too, that's the thing. Oh shit. He doesn't have a sword on him. Does he have his gun at least? I mean, bringing a gun to a sword fight could be a good thing, you know? <laughs> oh shit. Nice. Damn, he learned so much, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh shit. Was he thinking back, realizing 
He didn't kill him. Now that's a clean, that's a clean slice right there. <laughs> Who was the president during that time too? I don't even know. I thought you would return to America. I decided to stay, see if I could convince you to escape. How do you plan to do that? Yeah, I have some friends that came along, yep. I'm glad that his other friend from the States, he's like, you know, chill with this. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> Genuinely, I think the bow and arrows are better than the fucking the rifles. Oh, I thought he was gonna get hit. Yeah, I fucking knew it. The way they were showing him there. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. He's dead. How the fuck are you gonna get him? And he's pretty badly. Oh my god. Oh. Wow. Yeah, he's dead. Nice. Damn. Going out like a fucking champ, man. Wow. Oh, holy shit. Oh, the fucking music, bro. Oh my god. This whole scene, man. I mean, it was a great scene regardless, but fucking the music just elevates it to a thousand, bro. I'm telling you, Hans Zimmer knows what he's doing. I keep thinking they're gonna kiss. <laughs> oh, they are? I, I, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> I thought for sure they were gonna do that. Like, the thing is, it was built up in a, such a way that, like, I just didn't think it would happen just because of what happened to her husband. Like, I just see yeah, it's hurting the fuck out of her, though. Like, she's, yeah. Yeah, but she understands. Like, they were in a battle, like, you know, she understands. Oh, he looks badass. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, no. These look like open fields. This is exactly what we didn't want. <laughs> you ride against us? And you were the same as they are. I'll look for you on the field. <laughs> How much more Betty's not going to be on the field? He's going to go run back all the way in the back. Like Ramsey Bolton. <laughs> I don't know. This reminds me of Game of Thrones. Just the way the battle is set up here. I mean, it's a fucking battle. The game of the battles existed before Game of Thrones. But yeah, it's just what's on my mind right now. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You guys really had to wait to get blown up to do that? <laughs> Signal the attack. Oh, this is their plan. They want to lead them into close quarters areas, right? Because, yeah, fuck fighting in the field, right? That's, yeah. They'll just get mowed down. I know they got a plan. Wait for when they're reloading? Second volley. <laughs> they lost a lot of warriors doing this. Oh shit! Oh! <laughs> that cut off their army too, so if they charge at them right now with swords, oh, that'd be so fucking awesome. There you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> now you're doing a lot of damage. I mean, there's still a lot more of them, though, so it's not like, you know, 
It's not like this will make them win. <laughs> I'll never get tired of watching battles like this. Like, obviously, the subject matter behind it is it's it's war. That's a terrible thing. But the way it works in film, it you can just make it look so, like, just... Uh, I don't know, it's cinematic and badass and just intense. I think just the seeing someone, you know, especially the underdogs winning, that's always like the most intense thing, you know? And they're clearly the underdogs here. And I'm assuming they're gonna win in the end, but I don't know for sure. Oh shit, oh he's gonna, what? Oh, that is such good character development right there, man. They were like, you know, he was so quiet with him before, and you know, and he just, he, he just literally, he just, oh, <laughs> he literally just got himself killed for him. Oh shit! Oh shit! Nice. It's just, it's, I like seeing like the swords and spears and melee weapons against guns. Damn. <laughs> Holy shit. It always amazes me how they film these because like there's so much going on, but if you look in the background, like most of it looks, you know. Oh shit. Oh. I think it looks good. Damn. <laughs> Aw. Yeah, a lot of them are gonna die. There's no way. Yeah, there's no way they're not gonna lose a bunch of people. <laughs> Little fucking trumpet call is that? <laughs> oh, damn. God damn. Oh, he's still fighting? What the fuck? <laughs> that didn't even kill him? Definitely the best part of the movie so far. That was fucking great. Damn. There's probably gonna be a second wave of this, isn't there? They'll bring two more regiments up here soon. We won't be able to stop them again. You do not have to die here. I should have died so many times before. Now you leave again. Yes. It's not over. This is madness. He's going to attack? Yes. Who knows, it might work in their favor. I don't know. He's defeated! He must accept his shame! Damn, I love slow-mo shots, man. I love them. Especially in this movie, they, they do them so well. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, again, they're gonna lose a lot of people, but some of them has gotta get there, right? And once they get there, they're going to start slicing and dicing. Oh, he got hit again. No. God damn. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, shit. I saw him get ready for the throw. I was like, damn, he's about to do a javelin toss. <laughs> oh, no, not these things. Fucking Gatling gun. That's gonna kill a lot of them. Damn, man. I love how this movie is showing like the differences between the technological advancements of the time with weaponry, but also the, the, the loyalty and passion of the samurai. Like it's, it's, I love that. That's probably one of the most interesting things about this. I mean, I hope they can come out on top even beyond, you know, the different. Oh, even him. Are you kidding me? God damn. Is Nathan not going to get his Jon Snow moment? Like, come on. Shit. Even bring tears to his eyes seeing this destruction. Because it, like, it, it, uh, they were talking about honor before. Like, the difference in this. Like, the whole thing about honor with, like, you know, the head slice and they stab themselves. Like, that's what they consider to be honor. But this is just straight up like a mat. They're just getting shot and. It's a totally different thing. 
just seeing it like that, especially like they're not up and close. They don't get to, you know, do they really lose? They just, there's no way. Are you ready? Yeah, he's going to do the. Damn. So gets to see the nice blossom on the, the trees. This is Katsumoto's sword. If he would have wanted you to have it, let the strength of the samurai be with you always. <laughs> this fucking guy. Yeah. <laughs> he acts like he owns the emperor. You were with him at the end? I. Emperor. This man fought against you. If you believe me to be your enemy, command me. Oh, and shit. I will gladly take my life. I have dreamed of a unified Japan, of a country strong and independent and modern. And now we have railroads and cannon, Western clothing. But we cannot forget who we are. Wow, where? Wow. We come from. <laughs> Finally standing up for himself, man. <laughs> tell me how he died. I'll tell you how he lived. God damn. A lot of great dialogue here. Is he going back to the village, probably? He ain't leaving those people behind. Oh, the fucking music, bro. I love Hans Zimmer so much. <laughs> I always got to appreciate it, man. Every time he pops up in any movie, it's fucking great. Great movie, though. I really love this. Um, I think that's going to be it. So, that was solid. Um, is it my favorite Tom Cruise performance? No, he was probably at his best in Top Gun Maverick and eh, Mission Impossible Fallout 2, probably. But um, this is definitely one of, the, one of the best for him, at least top three uh, that I've ever seen. And I especially loved the battle sequences in this. I thought they were really well directed. I thought there was a lot of good choreography to them. I also just really like the concept of it. And um, I guess it's an exploration of a different culture that I really I haven't like learned too much about. Not like whether it's real life stuff or just seeing in other movies. So it was cool to see all of this in this movie, especially it's, it takes place in the 1800s. It's very different. And um it's a very uh, common trope for for a story where it's like a character who uh, assimilates into another culture that they're not used to, and then they learn their ways and eventually fall in love with those people. I mean, I can probably name you like 20 movies just like that, but it always works. It's a very solid trope, a very solid, I guess you could call it a subgenre even in and of itself. Um, I thought this really was effective, though. I thought the character of Nathan himself, like the way... He was built up and even just the first 20 minutes of the movie, you knew exactly what kind of person he was and slowly kind of led you to believe that, you know, he's going to be leading this, this group and then it ends up being the other way around essentially where he's um, with, oh, what's his name? Oh, I'm forgetting his name. No, um, I'm really bad with names. I will say, especially because a lot of the names obviously I'm not used to a lot of the names in the movie, so they were harder to keep track of some of them, but most of them I was able to get. Um, but I, I just, I loved all that, though. That, that stuff was so good. Um, yeah. Uh, this director, I'm not too familiar with him, other than uh, Blood Diamond was the only other movie of his I believe I've seen. At least right off the top of my head, I don't think I've seen anything else from him, but I feel like I probably should check out his other stuff because, I mean, chances are if you like one movie from someone, you're, you're going to like his other movies probably, so... Oh, well, so direct love and other drugs. I have never heard of this. I mean, I'll add it to my watch list. It looks like a very different type of movie. <laughs> That's a completely different type of movie. Um, and then there's Legends of the Fall. Nope, never seen that. Um, Glory? Oh, I've heard of Glory. Have I seen this? This sounds familiar, but... Oh, you know what? Glory? I never. I don't have it on my letterbox, but... My history teacher in sophomore year of high school showed us this. That's what I, that I, I so she, she showed us this to our class, but I don't remember the movie. So technically, I guess 
I won't count myself as seeing having seen Glory, but I guess it was on in the background during a class once. I guess I just did not pay attention to it. <laughs> All right. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts of this movie in the comment section down below. I will see you all in the next one. Don't forget to check out the full and cut reaction on my Patreon. Peace out, everyone.